What's up everybody? It's Charlie from Minnesota Disc Golf and today I am so happy that we get to do this video because it was just my birthday a little bit ago and I decided to get myself two things. One, I finally got this tattoo finished up. Really happy with the work that got done from Jeff at Inkheart in Chaska, Minnesota. Great, great artist. And second was what I have with you today. Now, I actually finally decided, since I had a discount code for it, uh, I got myself a Zuka. And we're going to see which one it is. And I'm going to give off a review and kind of unboxing going on because uh, in case you guys want to think about it. All right. So honestly, let's just go ahead and get started with this thing. Like, oh man, oh, this thing comes in a huge box. Like, well, for one, it is huge because I got, if you can see the backpack cart large and from what it's marked, I got myself black because honestly it'll go like black goes with anything. So whatever future bag I want to get uh, to go right in here, it'll go with the cart. So let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, geez. It's kind of heavy when you're just like sitting in place. Otherwise when you're standing, you can easily grab it. It doesn't feel that bad. I've been waiting all week for this thing to come in and now I'm like finally happy that I don't have to like carry my bag all the time like especially for tournaments if you ever do like uh, if you're doing like C tier and stuff like that where you're doing like two 18 whole rounds in one day and don't want to have to carry it for the whole thing then definitely is good for that now holy crap okay I forgot how big these things are in the store, but like for my bag, it's the one that I needed, like that size. So as you can see, I'm gonna set it down right here. It's like it's a bit plastic off. There's some on the handle. And you got the Zuka card itself, all that plastic. I'm gonna just set it down real quick and see what else we got in here. Oh, here's the uh, rod pull for the wheels. Um, instructions, because it's always a good thing to have these out, actually. Um, like how to set it up, but I mean, it's good to have them, but you might not even need them. Like, I guess from what I've seen online and stuff, it's uh, fairly simple to do. Okay, I've got the two drink holders. Yeah, two. In plastic. Let me just put that there. And last but not least, the wheels themselves. Now, these come with the foam wheels yeah foam wheels so that you don't have to mess with uh inner tube and stuff like that and deflating wheels when you're playing during the winter um because that is that would be really annoying i noticed uh it's a little off center in the wheel right away easily fixed there we go it was like there was a middle piece in the middle of that wheel just a little off center. So let's go ahead and actually put this together real quick. Oh yeah, the other one was, oh, but that one's a lot easier. That one's like pretty stuck in there for some of it. But let's go ahead and put this thing together. Um, I'm gonna take this guy out. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Minnesotans, we do not sound like Canadians. I just like to joke like being a Canadian because it's kind of funny, I, I think, in my opinion. Jeez, how... This thing is like wrapped around a bunch of times. There. 
cheesy. Oh, they, oh yeah, it's uh, from what I was reading online, it's uh, they give you a little Allen wrench for uh, I think it's like tightening of something on here. Oh, it's the uh, locks for the actual like caps. If you can see that, uh, yeah, for the caps for the wheels. So we will take that out. Let's go ahead and get the box out of here. I'm gonna take this out and just oh, crap dropping stuff. So let's set that on the handy dandy table. Take this other end undone. Just sheer force at this time. <laughs> All right, so we got that. This one's already loose. So, okay, the one thing I am gonna check. Ah, still dropping stuff. The one thing I am gonna check though is, uh, do I need to have these? I'm pretty sure these go on the outside. OB twill, like in between the cart. Yeah, it's the spacers for the cart, it's so it, at least I think. I don't know if I'm kind of rambling, it's a late night. It was my overtime day at work, and that's just, like, I'm not used to having to get up for my overtime days, but. Move one axle knob and thread one wheel through the axle. Okay, so it is a spacer in between the wheel and that. So these come off. I'll put them right there. I like the materials for these spacers too. Like it's just really nice. I'm just I'm finally excited that I get this. Let's see if we can. Yeah. One down. Spacer. This is why you always have your instructions because you never know when you're gonna need them. Okay, yeah, self-explanatory. The rest is just we're gonna go ahead and put this down first. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put that down. All right. We'll do this the easy way, or easy for me. right through all right because then we can set her down yeah just like that and the other spacer wheel and your knob so yeah pretty self-explanatory easy to set up I mean you cannot go wrong with that and then that's when we'll need her Allen wrench. Tighten that down. We're not going to do it super tight. Like, so it strips that uh, in the cap. And then I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to just make sure real quick. Yeah, like the other one. Should be good. So, question is, there it is. Yeah, that one's tight. Like, I don't, I don't want to strip it or anything like I said before. So, yeah, that's like that's how easy it is to set this thing up. And then, of course, you got the drink holders here, which I guess might as well go ahead and put it on there. Because I'm not going to be using the... Oh, that's how that extends. Okay, that's cool. So it's actually, if you can see, it's got the uh, bolt here with the Allen wrench in there. And then it's got the little nut on the side as well so that you can... I'm 
guessing, I don't know, just to like extend it a little bit, because it's technically for like the uh, smaller water bottles or something like that, unless you really want to, if you want to, I'm saying, if you uh, bend this, but I know they make the drink holders for other sizes. Um, so, I mean, I'll put those on later, but other than that, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move this stuff. And we'll actually see how well my bag fits in it. So, with a little bit of, just kidding, we're not going to do magic. Well, a little bit, so, alakazam. Whoa, I can't believe it actually worked. So, here's my bag. Uh, it's the Innova Superhero bag. And, like, yeah, this is why I needed to get the large cart. Um, it was just way too big. Like, the thing is, it's like, it's so wide for the uh, regular one. Because this is made for, um, like, the, I don't know why I sat down. Let's actually get her up here. Swing over a little bit. Now the thing is with this, it fits more like the hero bag or the superhero bags, the grip bags. Um, I'm trying to think like those uh, larger, a little bit larger um, dynamic bags. And like for what I see of this right now, like I actually really like it. Um, for one, because my bag fits in there. I have enough room to get out my mini, my pencil, like uh, that will actually just be out, I think, because I eventually, Oops. <laughs> that's a little bit of a whoopsie daisy on my part, did not see that, <laughs> come on, come on, get in there. Why can't I find it? That is why. Wow. I was not reading or looking at it correctly. All right. Okay, so now I finally understand how that works. Sorry about that. Um, learning, whole new process, so mess with that. Some other some other time but yeah I actually really like this um, so you can see there's some velcro in here that's for when you get the uh, seat uh, cover and I'm actually gonna be getting the seat cover because this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get because I was getting tired of uh, having my seat on there like when I'd sit down on it uh, it would make noise and I felt like it would distract the other people that I'm playing with in tournaments so that's why I wanted to get this um, for that main feature and also like I was saying earlier I was just um, kind of getting a little tired of uh, having to carry it so much because I mean this thing is full and uh, don't let the end of a bag uh, fool you because I uh, am a disc craft kind of fan myself so um, so that's why it's like also too I wanted to get the large cart so uh, when I get a different bag because I wanted to get one of those grip uh, disc wrap bags and those are the ones that fit in this cart uh, because then I also like the option too of actually taking this out if I'm just going to go to a small nine hole to practice um, like uh, the one that I like to play or that's closest to me is uh, Winthrop City Park just small nine hole course uh, they're 
longest holes are about like 300 feet so it's pretty much a maybe a, dry, a fairway driver and uh, a mid and some putters or I'll just like to take the bag out with me so I can practice because there's a good stretch for a few of the holes put together it's a really nice driving range so it lets me actually um, kind of uh, practice on my uh, backhand and stuff like that but yeah this otherwise I would definitely recommend it this was definitely worth the buy uh, especially with the discount code that I got from uh, the uh, Twin Town Throwdown that was a fun tournament um, would definitely not have a cart on the second course at Howland Hills, but um, Kaposia Park in South St. Paul definitely, definitely would have to have a cart for that. Um, I guess just a lot of moving around and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, eventually I'm going to get these drink holders put on there. And uh, what is it? I think... Probably for um, a future purchase or something, maybe around Christmas time, I'm going to get the uh, Zuka fenders that go for it and possibly the uh, putter pouch accessory because that is uh, definitely a must have uh, in my opinion because I don't like I wouldn't mind having to go through the top here all the time because I mean it's just all I got to do is just open this up. Hey. Uh, putters are right there, but if I don't want to have to keep bending out and stuff because maybe I'm just a little too lazy Then eventually I'll get that putter pouch because um, I also want to figure a way to uh, uh, Hook up my phone to the uh, uh, pole on there for uh, U disk uh, for so I can just keep a track of my strokes and actually get my stats down see what that's like um, Or yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm really happy with this buy. Uh, I definitely, uh, for the price, it's well, uh, it's really well constructed is all I'm going to say. It's good quality material. Like this thing is going to last you a lifetime. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really happy with it. Uh, for the price, it's not too bad. Uh, you, there are like uh there are definitely some other options that you can do for carts and stuff like that but if you want like quality and like i think bang for your buck then i would definitely go with zuka and there's so many different types that you can get too like i just i give you guys a thumbs up really oh all right i want to thank you guys for uh taking a look at this today on the uh unboxing and opening uh, review for the Zuka cart that I got. Uh, this is gonna have to be the end of it. All right, keep on throwing.